What's up, YouTube? You're Inside the Edge, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning into the show. Um, I know lately I've been heavy on doing NFL videos, so I was like, you know, why not? It's a fresh new week, a fresh new start. Why not talk some NBA content? So um, today I'm going to talk about Ben Caro, Pablo Ben Caro. Um, you know, this is a player that won Rookie of the Year. So I was like, you know, why not talk about one of the younger players in this league now? So I was like, no, let me jump right into it. And, you know, me being a Duke fan, you know, I watched his years, you know, playing at Duke. And just to see him transition his game into this NBA level, I mean, this guy's playing unbelievable basketball. Um, just from just from the start, just from the start of the season, I mean, this I believe his first game he averaged, it was, I think he scored over 25 points with over five rebounds and over five assists. Um, I believe it was only LeBron James and Grant Hill that was the only two players in, in NBA history to start off their careers with that stat line or something like that. So it just seemed like this entire season, um, you know, Ben Caro has been playing at a high level. I don't think he hit that rookie wall. Um, I felt like throughout this season he dealt with the pressure. Um, and obviously this team, I believe this team was a 13th seed. Um, they only won 34 games, 34 and 48. I mean, they weren't really good. But I feel like Ben Caro, he, he's picked up um, what of what the Orlando Magic needed. You know, he brought scoring to this team. He brought, you know, um, you know him being listed at 6'10". Um, you know, 250 pounds. Um, you know, this guy can be um, a distributor on defense. He could be a, a disruptor. I'm sorry, a disruptor on defense with his length. Um, you know, this guy can rebound and he can really make an impact. And that's what he done this season. And just looking at um, what he did, I mean, he played 72 games. Um, and just reading out his stat line, I mean, he averaged 20 points. Um, he averaged 6.9 rebounds, 3.7 assists. And I mean, he shot 42%. Um, from the field um, I think his shooting percentage probably would have been better um, just because I think <laughs> because the Orlando Mags weren't a really good team I think most teams that game plan for the Magics I think they were just like you know we're gonna put our best defender on, on Ben Carroll and if anything we're gonna double team him and force him for other guys to make plays and make shots and I think that's something that he dealt with throughout the season I think there were times where he might have forced passes and made a lot of mental mistakes, but I think he had a pretty good rookie year. And I think with Orlando Magic fans, you guys should be thrilled. Um, I know, guys, sad news with um, with um, Jonathan Isaac, sad news. But I think the Orlando Magic's found themselves a franchise, um, you know, player. Um, I see Ben Carroll being a multiple MVP, um, a multiple All Star. I see this guy being, you know. A number one player on a championship team I honestly believe that and I think looking at it right now being at 20 years old I, I know it's like what are you talking about I don't see it but this guy has it this guy has it like he has leadership um, and just his scoring ability um, just his attitude and he's a guy that wants to win you know he's not a guy that's just like he loves the game of basketball and I guess to even even to even talk about his story a little bit because I did some research um, I've heard him speak on an interview with Matt Barnes talking about how he even got into the NBA because I, I wanted to kind of know his journey. Like, how did he get to Duke? Like, you know, um, but apparently, yeah, like he'd known Jamal Crawford since he was a freshman in high school and Jamal Crawford would bring him to pro-am games. And you know how Jamal Crawford has his own summer league. He brought, you know, Ben Carroll to a couple of summer leagues throughout his high school career. And, you know, Ben Carroll played against, you know, Zach Levine. Uh, Spencer Halls, Isaiah Thomas, a lot of good, you know, professional athletes at the age of 15. And I think throughout those years, that's what built his confidence to become the player he is now. So, I mean, he has a pretty interesting story. And um, shout out to Jamal Crawford because he mentors a lot of, you know, players in, in the Seattle area. You know, he always gives back. Um, just a humble guy. But looking at Ben Carroll, I mean, he's a special talent. You know, looking at him offensively being 6'10", um, you know, he uses his body height. Um, you know, he, he likes to post guys up. You know, he's real good at using his pivot foot. You know, he's a guy that can post you up, um, you know, hit you with a, with a head fake, um, you know, a, a turnaround spin move. And his athleticism is crazy. You know, it's really hard to, to defend this guy. Um, the way he can just slash into the lane, you know, he can challenge, you know, seven footers and dunk on them. Um, you know, this guy is really, really special. And even defensively, he puts effort on defense. You know, it's, for some players, you, you know, we say they're not good defenders. But some people, is either they don't have the tangibles to be a good defender or they're not willing. But looking at Ben Carroll, he's willing to be a good defender. And that's what I really respect about him. Um, you know, he's a guy that just plays hard on both sides. And I just think it's sky's the limit. I just see him being better and better. And it's up to the Orlando Magics um, to just try to build some pieces around them. You know, get him some shooters. Um, you know, try to get, you know, a good team around him where he can prosper. Because um, I'm looking right now, um, you know, Gary Payton, 
I mean, I'm sorry, Gary Harris, um, you know, I, I think that's like the number one guard right now. But I mean, I think that this team definitely needs some shooting. That's one thing I will say about this Orlando Magic's team. I like Weldon, Weldon Carter. Bobo is good. Um, you know, Jonathan Isaac, like I said, man, I mean, if he, if he was healthy, that would have been, um, you know, he would have made a difference this year. Okay, okay, give yeah. Yep, Jalen Suggs. So, I mean, they got guards, Markel Folk. So, I mean, the Magic's got some good guards, but I think they're missing, um, you know, another wing player and just somebody at the shooting guard. But I think with Ben Carroll, he's only going to get better off of his rookie year. Um, and I guess I would say, like, a weakness for him would be, you know, him being like a – he's a 73% free throw shooter. I think his shooting – his free throw shooting could be better. If he could maybe get that to 82% next year, that would be pretty good. But other than that, I mean, I think his free throw shooting could be better. Um, his field goal percentage at 42, that, that could go up a little bit more, which I think it will. But, I mean, for his rookie year, guys, he averaged 20 points. Um, you know, like I said, sky's the limit. You know, I think with a better team around him, a better, you know, with, with the experience he had this year and moving into this offseason and him working out and training on his weaknesses, this guy could probably average 25 points next season. He could probably be a 25-point average scorer next year. Um, but I have just high hopes for Ben Carroll, guys, and I think Orlando fans. I want to hear your guys' opinion, guys. But I think he can be the face of a of a championship team. I can I, I see this guy being a future multiple All Star. You know, this guy he's going to be scary in the league. And I know people aren't talking about him now, but y'all, but they will be talking about him. And um, like I mentioned, I mean, this guy can do everything on the court. Um, but one thing that I would like to, for him to develop would be him to work in the pick and roll action, for him to be a pick and roll type of scorer, you know, him to, to shoot mid range off of the pick and roll. Um, just because he doesn't shoot a lot, you know, he doesn't create his own shot. You know, he does have a, a nice step back. You know, he can't create his own shot, but this guy, he, you know, he knows his strength is attacking the rim, you know, attack the basket for obvious reasons. Him being 6'10, you know, he's going to take advantage of those smaller matchups. So, um, Excuse me. So with that being said, guys, I want to hear what you guys think about Ben Carroll, man. I mean, do you think he's going to be a multiple all-star? Do you think I'm hyping him? I mean, no one is really talking about him. So I'm like, yo, this guy, he's he's here, man. Like, he, he can play the game of basketball. Like, he like this rookie year, looking at what he can do, it looks like he's been playing in the NBA. He's been playing in the pros for a while. So, um, again, guys, I want to hear what you guys think. And um, I definitely want to continue to just do some more NBA content, talk about other players. And um, it's gonna be a terrific NBA offseason, guys. I'm really ready for the you know free agency when it comes to you know the NBA. But until next time, guys, for Orlando Magic fans, I want to hear what you guys. Um, how do you guys feel about um, you know Pablo? Um, I call him Pablo, guys. I know it's um, Apollo, um, but I, I just call him Pablo, man. <laughs> but um, he has just a, a weird, funky name. But Ben Carroll, guys, I want to hear what you guys think about him, and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care, peace.